Do all the comments on your looks ever feel creepy to you like they do to me? He says, there's a thin line between the compliment and just plain too much. And she or you is more than just a pretty face that I will agree with James. She would have to be more than a pretty face to put up with Leon. Amen. <laughs> but yeah, I'll let you go. But like, obviously, anytime you're doing things on the Internet, our culture now is so, 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 so hypersexualized mm. that no matter what you do, what you wear, what you look like. If you're making content and putting on Instagram or YouTube, there's going to just be a percentage of comments that are just like, ooh, yeah, yummy, yummy, like all this shit. Like, I'll let you answer first. Like, does that bother you? I kind of expect it. I mean, like you said, it, it's everywhere now. So, it no, it doesn't bother me. First of all, I don't read comments all that often. Hallelu I do, hallelujah. I, I do that, sometimes. Keep that habit alive. Yeah. Um, and I do notice it and you'll tell me, you'll be like, gosh, every comment in this video is Mrs. Lush, Mrs. Lush, Mrs. Lush. <laughs> <laughs> really had to let go of my ego on that second channel, hon. I know it's, I know they're not there for me. I know. Um, so no, I mean, I, I guess it, it, it's a compliment in some ways. I sure. can't deny that. Do I let it like fuel my ego? No. Yeah. And I, I will say like for, for us specifically, you know, a, a lot of the ones I see are they're like thirsty, but they're still somewhat respectful. And it's like, and a lot of it's like, I mean, no, no disrespect to Mr. Lush, but blank, 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 no disrespect, blank, blank, blank. Right. It's That's fine. most of what I've yeah, seen. Yeah. And a lot of them are like nice compliments. And then you get the ones that are like, Ooh, look, you like, you know, like the 13 year old, like, Oh, fucking milkers. Yeah. Look at that. Like there's always going to be those. I, to me, if from my perspective as the husband or whatever, you know, I've been in this game quite a long time, so like I knew what to expect. Who cares? It's like it's a random fourteen-year-old or fifty-year-old, God only knows, commenting. You know, from their mom's basement somewhere around the world. Like, what are you gonna do? Mm. Who really cares? There is an element that it is that is complimentary, but like as a dude, it would be silly to get upset over it or care. I find it kind of humorous sometimes. I kind of play into it occasionally. Think it's kind of funny. Oh, you do? Like you comment back? Is that what you uh, mean? Once in a while, yeah. Because I, listen, there's... listen, I'd be making those same comments if I was on the other end looking you on. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're you're a creep. No, 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 I don't mean creepy ones. I just mean like, yeah, but but I, I do find it. Yeah, inter... you, you want to elaborate on that? You're going to comment on someone else's wife? <laughs> not. No, I actually wouldn't. I, that was not the right the right thing to say. What I was trying to convey from saying that is I think you're hot and I love you and you're Thank and you. you're, and you're wonderful. You. Um, yeah. So most of it's complimentary. I mean, maybe there are some creepy or over the top obnoxious <laughs> comments out there i know that sometimes depending on what i wear there are lots of comments on my boobs well i mean i know and like i we're sitting at a desk and it's waist up so that's yeah, what you, you can see yeah so the, it's you're literally just <laughs> boobs in a face there's no other part which is crazy and, I'm like, and well, i feel I bad to... and i feel bad for everyone else because i'm such an ass man and you got that thing on you you know what I'm saying? And they don't get they don't get that. They only get the top half of the equation. So God bless. At least, missing out. at least I get the other half to myself, minus that Instagram video we posted for the whole. <laughs> so it's not we can't pretend like we didn't occasionally utilize it to our advantage. Like there's a reason why I use you in the thumbnails and not me. Because <laughs> you're it. much more easier on the eyes than I am. I'll tell you that right now. But it is the way the internet is. Like to to synopsize the whole thing, like we, you know, our culture now is so hypersexualized from the plethora and addiction and pornography, all these things. It's like there is a, a kind of a sad element to this idea that, you know, when you are online and you are a woman, you are basically just a piece of meat to a large portion of the internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that, and that's just the unfortunate kind of nature of the way things are. And I don't know, it is what it is. So what what are you going to do? Get mad about it? You know, if, if things got really disrespectful, I would, I would maybe intervene in some way, but sure. we've been fortunate. I do, there was another question... I don't know where it is, but along these same lines, just about uh, like living a life online, what's that like? And I, I will say we're in a fortunate place right now where, you know, we've been able to to do this as a living. I feel very fortunate with what we've been able to accomplish, but we're blessed. Our audience that watches us on Lush Life is, is really great. They've been awesome to us. And we kind of live in this microcosm of people that are familiar with us. Of course, we get introduced to new people on YouTube and stuff like that. And we occasionally get the, the nasty comment, but there is inevitably a level of success online, which we're not at, that you get to where you all of a sudden get exposed to the whole, you know, just whatever it is. You're on Reddit, you're on Twitter, mm. and it 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 uh, opens this floodgate of just vile, no matter who you are, 
you just if you, you eventually get to a certain level of success where uh, success where we're, we're not at yet and like it's a double-edged sword because it's like you want to scale and you want to grow the brand you want to get more views make more all these things but there are a lot of negatives that come with that because there are there is a level where it just no matter what there will be a, a large percentage of people that are only showing up to tear you down and shit on you and say the nastiest things possible and i've always felt fortunate like even on my main channel and what i do myself like i've dealt with that a little bit more through different areas where i've peaked and kind of like trickled into the more mainstream stuff but for the most part we kind of live in our own little ecosystem with people that show up to watch us because they they like us as as individuals and it's awesome so part of me is like, man, I just kind of want to stay where we're at. I love it. I would yeah. be very happy to stay right where we're at. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So no, to me, our life feels very normal. It does feel funny to call it work to right. put content out there. Um, but I am always caught off guard, like in the off chance that someone does come up or say something to us like, oh, I watch your YouTube. I'm always like so caught off guard. Like, like I said earlier, I just like kind of forget that people watch me online yeah that happened to us at disney a couple weeks ago yeah several yeah. times yeah yeah we were in line for the millennium falcon ride mm -hmm. and the person that was like the, the the young woman who shout out if you find your way to this yeah. uh to this podcast that was kind of like the last person before you load onto the ride and separating people she's like oh my god and we were, we were very flattered and she's like if you want we, i can get you your own spaceship and I was, like, I was like, no, man, I was like, please don't worry about it. Put us in there. Not to mention it's the ride that like it's three and three, it's six people and everyone has a job to be like the pilot or the gunner, or the mechanics. So I was like, ah, no, I'm cool, like, no, but, we don't, we can share. <laughs> yeah. But it's cool. Like we're at like this, a really, what I consider the perfect level of, you can still have a great personal life. Life feels very normal. And then you know, occasionally you see people out in the public that recognize you and it's very flattering. And I actually recently, just this week, was watching a clip of Mr. Beast talk on a podcast where he talks about the experience of going from 1 million subscribers to 10 million subscribers to then 100 million subscribers. And he was like, there was a kind of a, an inflection point in his popularity <clears throat> where it was cool and it very quickly became miserable. Uh -huh. I And I'm happy because I don't think what I do, I don't ever expect to be at a point where I'm doing those type of numbers and I don't want to. Like I look at somebody like Mr. Beast and I'm, I'm envious of his work ethic, his inability to create cool things and all these things, but I have no desire or envy for his lifestyle at all. I'm older. I'm a family man. I want to be, I want to be able to walk across the driveway, go out to dinner with my family, enjoy, enjoy myself. And we're kind of in that perfect that perfect medium right now. So while I'm always trying to kind of scale and grow and try new things because stagnation is just the worst and it's boring and it's unchallenging, uh, there's always that part of my brain lurking where it's like, man, I just, if I do, will I eventually get to that point where life just becomes miserable and it's much harder to have a personal life? I, don't know, I guess you face those challenges as they come. But that was all kind of stemmed from that question about comments get, you're getting online. And the overarching thesis is our comments are still mostly cool, even when they're thirsty, they're respectful. So agree. That's what it is. If you enjoyed this clip, you can find full episodes of Decently Indecent on Storyfire linked in the description below. And be sure to subscribe here for more clips and episodes in the future. Thanks for watching.